Hello, people of God. I am excited about bringing to you all the promises of God. Expect them to come your way and in the life of your spouse. This is what's bringing healing and restoration in your marriage. It has already been settled in heavenly places. Remember in Acts chapter 2, these are the words that Peter spoke. He says in verse 32, God raised Jesus from the dead. And we are all witnesses of this. Now he is exalted to the place of highest honor in heaven. At God's right hand. And the father, as he had promised, gave him the Holy Spirit to pour out upon us. This same Holy Spirit, people of God, that raised Christ from the dead and has him seated on the right hand side of the Father. Has now been given to our Lord Jesus Christ to pour out upon us, not only you, but your spouse. And this is what's bringing healing and restoration in your marriage. For the Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18 to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And when the Holy Spirit is poured out on that wayward spouse, get ready for what is coming into that marriage. Wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Liberty to walk in love. Liberty to walk in joy and peace. And to be united where husbands and wives are submitted to one another in everything as a follower of Christ Jesus. As the leading of the Holy Spirit is leading. This is why people of God, you can meditate. You can meditate on Ephesians chapter 5 verses 21 through 33. There is a promise coming to save your household. The promise of the Holy Spirit. Believe that it is coming your way and the Lord says you will receive it. It will be yours. For it is his will. This is why Jesus was raised from the dead. This is why Jesus has been given the Holy Spirit. Now he can pour it out on that loved one that is lost. Their lives will never be the same. For when the Holy Spirit comes, the Bible tells us in Ezekiel what happens. We can even see what happened to the dead, dried bones that were scattered across the valley floor. When the spirit of the Lord came upon those bones, they was brought back to life. Everything was restored back. The flesh, the muscles, the skin, breath came back. Everything that was brought to ruins and left to nothing was raised up through the power of the Holy Ghost. And this same spirit of grace is bringing life to your marriage. And your marriage will illustrate Christ and the church united into one because the spirit of the Lord is the spirit that's coming. The Bible tells us. And that is what's going to cause marriages to illustrate Christ and the church united into one. Where husbands, who is the head of his wife, as Christ is the head of the church, who is the savior of the body, loves his church as his own body. This is exactly what a husband would do with his wife. 
when the spirit of the Lord comes upon him. There will be liberty. There will be love. There will be deliverance. Same with the wife who is away from the Lord. When the Holy Spirit comes, there will be submission. There will be honor. There will be oneness and unity. Everything is coming back, people of God. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Hold on to the promises of God. For the Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 31, as the scriptures say, a man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife and the two are united into one. All this happens because of the Holy Spirit that was promised to bless a man. And give him the grace and the power to be joined to his wife and love his wife as Christ loves the church. And the wife to receive from her husband what he gives unto her. His life, his love, his kindness, his headship, his order, his wisdom. The same grace and power that the Lord has poured into us, the body. It's what the Holy Spirit is what is is what causes the man to do the same with his wife. Paul says it in verse 32. It is a great mystery. It is a mystery how a man loves his wife and is joined to her. It comes from God. But it is an illustration of the way Christ and the church are one. And so Paul says it like this. A man shall love his wife. He shall love his wife as his own body. He was prophetically saying this. And a wife shall respect her husband. This is what happens when the Holy Spirit comes. Seek first the kingdom, people of God. Seek God's Holy Spirit to come forth in that marriage and receive it and believe that it is yours. Your marriage will never be the same. Righteousness and peace and holiness, God's divine power and grace is what's overturning divorce cases, removing adultery, removing idolatry, removing rebellion, removing hostility and enmity, rem removing abuse in all forms. Instead, there will be love, compassion, like-mindedness as Christ, and love and godliness, the curse is broken through the blood of Jesus. Receive it, people of God, and meditate on his word. This is yours. This has already been done. As the word tells us, Peter says it in verse 32 of Acts chapter 2, God raised Jesus from the dead. He raised him from the dead. And now he is he is exalted. He is seated in the place of highest honor. And the Father has promised that he would give our Lord Jesus Christ the Holy Spirit to pour out on us. And so look unto the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the author and the finisher of our faith, our provider our head and we are his body everything upon him is coming on us his peace his love his kindness is coming in that marriage his virtue his grace that is sufficient in our weakness that breaks the chains the bondages and removes the sin and the scales and renews our minds get ready that is what's coming your way that is what's coming up on your spouse take a hold of it and receive it hallelujah these things are being manifested 
through the power of the Holy Ghost that leads us and guides us and directs our path. This is a great mystery. This is why your marriage will be what it is. But it is an illustration of the way Christ and the church are one. There is coming a newness. Life. Deliverance. New hearts and new minds. The Lord says I'm taken out of that old heart of stubbornness and giving you a new heart. Well, how? Through the power of the Holy Ghost. He says, I'm putting my spirit in you and causing man to walk in my ways and my image and likeness. And a man will love his wife surely as I love the church and lay down my life it that is exactly what spirit the Lord is placing in that husband of yours woman of God that you have been standing in the gap for that is what God is saying about your marriage and saying with you man of God that spirit of submission and love and respect and honor and, uh, and obedience it's the same thing God is about to pour in that wife of yours you are standing in the gap for. It's not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. This is his promise. You can stand on this promise all by itself. And you have everything you need. Just standing on this very word by itself. It's all you need. It tells it all. It tells it all of why you can receive God's grace and holiness and newness of life in your marriage and in your household and in your spouse because Jesus was raised from the dead and has been given honor and has been given the Holy Spirit to pour out on us who has called us to imitate him in all that we do so why wouldn't he heal your marriage why wouldn't he join you and your spouse he has called us to be like him this is why the spirit of the Lord was given to him to pour out on us to extend grace to us and raise us up from the dead and seat us in heavenly places and cause our lives to line up according to his will. And cause us to do all those things that are pleasing unto him and our father. And these things were planned for us long ago. Receive it. Thank God every day for the Holy Spirit that is about to encounter your spouse. That, oh my God, that deliverance is about to bring them back from the dead. And enlighten the eyes of of their understanding and bring peace and reconciliation unto them back to the father and now you will be one and like-minded in that marriage speaking speaking volume of how Christ and the church are one. Speak in volumes of how God loves his people. Praise the Lord. It is done, people of God. The Holy Spirit is about to encounter that loved one of yours. Expect that heart to be turned. Expect that to manifest. Jesus has paid the price and we just praise him. I wanted to encourage you Declare these things out of your mouth that your spouse is coming back to life. You know, it was just like the prodigal son. His father said he was he was dead. Now he's alive. The Lord was showing us something in his word that that is what the Holy Spirit does in us. Brings us back to life. 
changing us, causing us to become new creatures in Christ Jesus. Where old things has passed away and all things has become new, including that marriage. Because where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There is life in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is done, people of God. The promises are coming your way. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. For what's coming our way. Thank you, Lord God. We give you the praise. Join with me, people of God, as we pray. Oh, yes, Lord God. Let your Holy Spirit pour out on wayward spouses. As you promised, we receive it, Lord God. Thank you that our marriages will never be the same. Thank you that you are filling us even more and more with your Holy Spirit, causing us, Lord God, to walk in your ways, bringing unity in our marriages, love and peace and joy and deliverance. Bondages are broken. Chains are broken. Minds are renewed. Captives are free. Thank you for your Holy Spirit, Lord God, that you promised you would pour out on us. You will pour out on all flesh in the last days. Lord, thank you that our husbands are loving us as you love the church and wives are being submitted unto their husbands in everything. As unto the Lord. Oh, thank you that our homes are healed. Households are saved and delivered and set free through the blood of Jesus who was raised from the dead. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, I praise your name. The people of God, we praise your name. We honor you and worship you for your holy gift of grace that is able to save all that are lost. You said in your word, ask of these things and they will be given. And believe that we have received what we've asked for and they will be yours, you said. We receive it, Lord God, for it is your will. Lord, bless the works of your people, hands that have sown into your work, that have sown, Lord God, to your work and ministry. Bless them, Lord, in every areas of their life. I stand in agreement with them, with whatever they are believing you for. Thank you for each and every one of them, Lord God. Bless your people, Lord. Thank you for your holy blessings and your love and kindness. And we give you the praise for it now in Jesus' name. And we say, Amen, Lord. We receive it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, it is coming your way. Get ready for the encountering of the Holy Spirit to encounter your spouse and bring life into that marriage like never before. The seeds you have been sowing and hiding in your heart. The Lord says, cling on to them. For you will reap a huge harvest. You're going to see things greater than you could have ever asked or imagined come your way because it's his will and his promise unto you remember that god loves you people of god and i love you too and until next time bye bye